This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This video here today is about Daniel Radcliffe, and this is kind of a tough one, I have to admit, because I think a lot of things he says is just pretty fucking stupid. I mean, if you guys were following J.K. Rowling and her controversy with the transgender things, he went against her. And now he goes against Johnny Depp. And he doesn't have good reasons to go against either one of these people. I think he's just trying to save face and make himself look like some kind of good guy. Some kind of white knight. Something like that. And I have no problem with Harry Potter. I haven't seen them in years. They're not my kind of movie. But I respect them. I respect him as an actor. Purely. He did a good job. He's pretty iconic as Harry Potter. But some of the stuff he says here, I just think is pretty stupid. And I gotta say it outright. I'm not really gonna hold back on this one. With Stephen King, it was different because Stephen King, as you guys know, is the producer for The Stand, which plans to feature Amber Heard. We'll see what happens after the court case and everything. But that was different because Stephen King has a lifetime of achievements. He's got some classic, classic books out there, and he's got a respectable fan base. Daniel Radcliffe is basically Harry Potter, and that's it. So let's see what he says. And by the way, this is from the Nikki Swift website. I did a video on Elon Musk and how she points out things he said were wrong with Johnny Depp, and she also points out Daniel Radcliffe. Here we go. Harry Potter himself, the face of nearly everything J.K. Rowling touches, seems to be just as annoyed as Ezra Miller about Johnny Depp's crimes of Grindelwald casting. Daniel Radcliffe didn't hold back his frustrations even though he thanked the film's producers for giving him a great start in life and an amazing job. All that means is that Harry Potter is smart enough to not bite the hand that feeds him unless that hand is Voldemort. Ha ha. Sounds like a fucking joke at the end that I don't get and don't care about. And he did actually bite the hand that fed him because, like I said, he went against J.K. Rowling and that's the hand that feeds him. So he did. Also, like, who the fuck is he to be, like, upset about Johnny Depp being cast when nothing was even proved? Johnny was just accused. That was it. So in Radcliffe's mind, if you're accused of something, you're guilty? And then someone has the right to take issue with you because you're accused? Just sounds outright fucking stupid. In an Entertainment Weekly interview, Radcliffe compared the situation to the NFL, where some players are arrested for smoking weed, but others slide by with much worse behavior because of their fame. I suppose the thing I was struck by was, we did have a guy who was reprimanded for weed, on the original Potter film, essentially, so obviously what Johnny has been accused of is much greater than that he said. And all he could say is accused of. He didn't say what Johnny did. He said what Johnny was accused of. So it seems like moronic to me. Just because Johnny was accused, that means this guy Radcliffe can have a problem with that. And by the way, I'm going to take a little guess here. What do you think a lot of people do when they watch Harry Potter? I'm going to guess they do the thing that uh, Danny mentioned here. So it would be pretty silly to reprimand someone on a Harry Potter set for doing that. But I digress. By the way, you see my little picture here. If you guys could tell me who that is in the comments, I'd be happy. I'm, I'm sure you know who it is, but just uh, it doesn't quite look like she's looking exactly these days. As the media points out, this was a reference to Jamie Wylett. After the actor was arrested for growing 10 marijuana plants, he was dropped from the Deathly Hollows. Radcliffe claimed the situation with Depp is a very hard thing for him. But it should be noted that Wylett pleaded guilty to the pot offense. So he thinks Johnny's gonna plead guilty or something? He thinks like, you know, okay, at least the guy pleaded guilty. So he's kind of like implying that he thinks Johnny did it and Johnny should plead guilty? If that wasn't enough, his subsequent arrest after carrying a petrol bomb 
in the 2011 London riots probably would have probably gotten him expelled from Hogwarts anyway. Ha ha. Another fucking bad joke. You know, maybe it's just me, but I'm not finding any of Nikki's writing funny. If she actually personally wrote it, I'm not even sure, but either way, it's on her website. So basically, for Danny Boy, if Johnny Depp would have admitted to it, then that would have been okay. And you know what? You might be thinking, well, maybe he didn't see all the evidence, maybe he didn't know, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if this was day one when the news broke, or right now, or any time in between. What he's saying is, because Johnny was accused, he had problems with the casting. He didn't research anything. I mean, even from the very beginning, we had Doug Stanhope's article saying about how he thinks that Johnny was blackmailed. We also had stars coming out defending Johnny the whole time. Since day one, basically. Orlando Bloom. I think his name's Jerry Bruckheimer. I'm not getting that right. I can't quite remember offhand. Sorry. But, you know, the producer, the big producer guy from Pirates of the Caribbean defended Johnny. So, you know, Danny Boy couldn't just, like, use his brain and be like, Huh, a lot of fucking people from Hollywood are coming out and defending Johnny. But you know what? I'm going to assume, since he was accused, he should just apologize. I don't know. I Maybe I'm getting more irritated than I should be. But it's also this and the thing that happened with J.K. Rowling where he said, Well, I think she's wrong. I think transgender people should be defined by sexuality, not by biological sex. And, you know, he just pretty much went against J.K. Rowling. And I think he did that because he wants to save face. He doesn't want to be a public enemy. He doesn't want to be a controversial person. He wants to get along with everybody, and he doesn't want to have a real opinion. So, as you guys could see, judging from this, maybe there's more to his character. Maybe he's more dynamic. Maybe he said things since this. But based on this, seems pretty bad. And based on what he did recently within the last... I don't know, that was like two months ago, you know, six weeks ago or something. It's pretty much the same thing he's doing here. He's just coming out, trying to look like the good guy, and saving face. Anyway, if you guys are fans of Daniel Radcliffe, I don't know what to say, because I just couldn't hold back. This is my, like, full, brutally honest opinion on it. With Stephen King, like I said, I'll think it out a little bit more. I'm not just going to attack Stephen King, like, 100% dead on. For having Amber Heard, I'll, you know, give him a little bit of a benefit of the doubt that, you know, maybe he was locked in, he's already producing the thing. Like I said, Stephen King, I think, should release a statement and say, well, I know that there's current evidence that Amber is possibly an abuser, but she was already locked into contract, something like that, which is not what he's doing. So that's my criticism with King, is that he's not actually addressing it. Anyway... I'm rambling. You guys, let me know down below what you think. I'm doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. If you are still listening, I'm having a rough weekend, but starting from tomorrow, I'm going to get up more than one video a day, and plenty of those will be some other content from pop culture, celebrities, things like that, aside from the Depp case. But when it's only one video a day, I've got all this Depp stuff ready to go, so it's easy for me to put together. If you subscribe, you'll get an imperfect channel. I make some mistakes, things like that. Can't help it. Got three kids, full-time job. I'm doing this like at midnight when I'm half awake, so I'm going to make mistakes. But it's also going to come out a lot better than some other stuff you see, because I've got colorful photoshops. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time. Central Park, we're in